Today on Psalm Story, we're talking with Master Sommelier Peter Neptune. Peter runs the popular Neptune School of Wine and is a passionate historian and educator. Thanks for joining us, Peter. My pleasure. It's so fun to have you. It's good to be here. I poured you a little Chablis here. Yeah, William Feb produced some really nice wines. He's kind of a, a, a classic producer. Feb's is, is astoundingly good. It's really fun stuff. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. wanted to ask you, do you have any fun stories? Yeah, you know, a couple of things come to mind when I think about Chablis. It brings me back to uh, the mid-80s when I was in New York. I'd finally convinced the owner of this restaurant to let me work as the sommelier on the floor, right? Me, pick me. You know, in New York at that time, it was a kind of a different world, and um, 42nd Street was still seedy. Seedy? You know, Giuliani hadn't cleaned it up, which is it's kind of sad. The New Yorkers went out to dinner usually Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, and Friday, Saturday, it was called Bridge and Tunnel Night. Any self-respecting Manhattanite didn't eat out on Friday or Saturday night, right? I'm working the floor, and at the time, you know, I prided myself on pouring some pretty cool stuff by the glass, and remember, wine was much cheaper back then. So I could source a good Premier Cru Chablis for $10, $11 a bottle. And so I was pouring, you know, like a Premier Cru Montmain, you know, which is a really good Premier Cru, which is a higher, higher level of vineyard in this area. And I'm all proud of myself, maybe 11 bucks a glass, right, which is just incredible. This was also an era, though, when the word, and frankly, still to this day, if you go to into Rite Aid, you'll see the grandmas walking out with a four liter bag in the box that says Chablis or Hardy Burgundy on it, right? One of the waiters comes up to me, it's nine o'clock, you know, and the first turn has already come and gone, maybe we're on the second turn or something like that. And the waiter comes up and goes, you gotta, you, I just dropped the check at, at table 15, you gotta go talk to this lady, she's, she's apoplectic, you know? So I, I go over there and I go, good evening, ma'am, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Peter, you know, I talked to you earlier in the evening, I, I recommended that, that Chablis by the glass, and she says, you listen to me, a Chablis is not $11. A Chablis should be $2.50. You, young man, are trying to rip me off. And I, I look at her and I said, well, this is a wonderful Premier Cru Chablis from the Montmain Vineyard. It's one of the best of the Premier Cru's. And she says, Premier Cru Schmemier Cru, I don't care what you're saying. You are trying to rip me off. I can get this Chablis for four liters for $3.50 at the Walgreens drugstore. And she's just livid, right? And I realize, oh my God, Chablis to this woman is this cheap, innocuous white wine. So I, I finally said, I'll tell you what, we'll take it off the check and will that make it okay for you? And she says, well, that's just fine. And I said, well, let me tell you this, how, how'd you like the wine? She says, that's the best Chablis I've ever had in my entire life. 